Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a ping pong table for $10. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a surface to play on, two highlighters. You can use a pen or a pencil, but I like highlighters because they're bigger and they're easier to attach to a playing surface. You're also going to need some scotch tape, paper towels, at least two ping pong rackets, and a ball. Once you have that, we're all set to get started. The first thing that you're going to do is find the center of the playing surface. Once you find the center, make a dotted line like I am here with either a highlighter or a pencil or something else that is easily removable. Once you're done marking the surface, Take one of your highlighters and place it at the edge of the playing surface in the middle of your dotted line. Now take four 3 inch pieces of tape and attach the highlighter to the playing surface as shown here. Once you're done, take a fifth piece of tape around four inches long and wrap it around the bottom of the highlighter. This will ensure that the tape never becomes disconnected from the highlighter as you play. Repeat this process with the second highlighter on the opposite side. Now it's time to make the net. So take your roll of paper towels and roll it across the width of your playing surface. Make sure to leave some extra, so don't be afraid to roll too much. Now fold your paper towel in half, hot dog style. When you're folding it, make sure it's even as you go across. Now what I would do is take three pieces of tape and place it on the bottom of your paper towel. This is just so it won't unfold on you later and it's easier to attach to the highlighters. So here I just took three pieces of tape around one to two inches long and placed it on the right, center, and left hand sides. To connect the paper towel to the highlighter, fold it over just enough so the pocket created allows the highlighter to slide in and out. Once you have folded it, Take a piece of tape and place it in the center. Take a second piece of tape, put it over the top, and a third piece on the bottom just to keep it all from unfolding. Once you do that, you should be able to take the paper towel and slide it over the highlighter. Repeat this process on the other side. Once you connect the paper towel to the two highlighters, you'll have a net. The net will measure five and a half inches tall, which is half an inch shorter than a regulation table tennis net. On some playing surfaces, this net might be a little too tall. So to make the net shorter, just slide the paper towel off of the two highlighters and mark where one and a half inches is from the bottom. Keep marking where that is so it's easier for you to cut a straight line. That being said, when you're done making the dots, cut along the dotted line. When you're done cutting, take three pieces of tape around one to two inches in length and put it on the left, center, and right hand side just like we did earlier. My roommate and I prefer this 4 inch net over the 5.5 inch net because it seems to work better on our playing surface, which in our case is the island in our kitchen. But it's completely up to you, this just seemed to work better for us. And that's pretty much it. That's how you get to make a ping pong table for $10. The only thing you'll have to buy are two ping pong rackets and a ball, which you can get for $10 over at Sports Authority, Walmart, and Amazon. I'll put the link for Amazons in the description for you. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.